Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld. I'm giving you a very short video to show you how to set up a iPixie server with digital rebar on Packet. Um, my goal is just to get you started. So um, one of the things that the Racken team has done is we've, we've created a packet.digitalrebar. Um, sorry, dot rebar.digital server. So there's a uh, server running. You don't have access to the actual API endpoint. So you can't do anything except boot iPixie servers in Packet. Uh, you can't install other operating systems or anything like that. But it is enough to let you validate that you have the configuration correctly and repeat these steps and watch it boot and log into a machine of your own. So you can use this endpoint, and I'm about to show you how to test this before you can get everything else going. So, here's what we need to do. Uh, we are going to log into Packet. We're going to deploy a server. I need to pick a host name. So we're going to call it uh, Validate iPixie. Something really crazy. It could be any type. Um, as long as it's one of the, uh, the ARM servers. I don't think we have this working on AMDs yet. Um, give us a call if that's important to you. And we'll talk about what takes to do it. I pick custom iPixie here and I provide this URL. Now you can test this URL all you want. There's nothing secret in here. It's got the web address, it's got the console settings. These are the console settings you need to boot uh, CentOS operating systems and watch the log spew, which is what we're going to do. Um, pretty straightforward stuff. So we're going to provide that URL right here. HTTP, not S, HTTP packet rebar uh, dot digital dot rebar dot digital default ipixie I'm going to pick a location I'm going to choose Sunnyvale here very important I'm going to go in and manage um, the system and I'm going to remember to persist the pixie first boot this will let you keep repeating this pattern if you miss catching the first boot uh, and then I'm going to deploy that's that's about it it's pretty straightforward um, what I want to do to go further here is I'm going to take a packet server that I already have running uh, and one of the features that the packet servers have is you can you can get a remote console with one uh, let's see so I'm going to grab one of these it's uh, pretty straightforward I can SSH to the um, machines GUID at SOS dot in this case I did SJC1 that's what the data center I'm in, packet.net. So I just need to find the GUID in order to watch the machine boot. It's not going to, I can't do it quite yet. We're almost to a point, but the GUID's already been assigned. It's up here. So if I'm looking at my machine, it's deploying the server. Here's the status. Let me hit refresh. This number right here is my machine's unique identifier. And if I put that in over here, and I have the SOS for the correct data center. If you didn't pick San Jose, then you're going to have to change that. Pretty straightforward. And this point, uh, the system's not set up right yet. And so I need to keep trying. It's not going to get there just yet. So it's useful for you to see this. If you were trying to do the same thing, you wouldn't get um, that validate pixie status yet. And I might have had, oh, I actually have the wrong GUID in here. So let me show you the right GUID. There's the correct. So here's my project. Here's my server's GUID. So let me fix that. Errors and demos sometimes help you see what to avoid when you're trying this yourself. There you go. So now I'm getting the console for that system. And I can actually see the boot. So here it's going through and it's, it's doing its initial boot pixie provision and when you see the word sledgehammer in here that means that uh, the DRP system grabbed it. Now remember you don't have to install DRP to test this. Uh, we obviously recommend you take the time to get a server and install DRP and do the boot and follow the other videos. We have a whole bunch of videos showing you how to do this. The purpose of this is so that you can validate packets iPixie service by yourself very quickly no additional steps Put in, the, put in that URL, get into the console, and watch it go. And at this point, it's going through the process, and it's going to go and install Sledgehammer. Uh, you will not be able to 
and do anything with it except through this console um, because you don't have your SSH key injected or anything like that. But that's about it. And because we have this um, optimized two-stage bootloader, it's very quick. Uh, it um, Actually, in this case, uh, that would be if we did Pixie, then iPixie. In this case, we're just doing stage two, which is the Pixie load part. Uh, and it's going to go through and get the system coming up, and I should be able to log into it in just a second. If you want to escape from this window, um, if you do tilde period, uh, that will get you out, which is important to realize. Um, here we go. So now we're watching Sledgehammer is based on Sent7, so this is a standard CentOS boot. And now I can log in. Uh, root rebar1 for the default uh, Sledgehammer. And that's it. I now have a system uh, that has been booted on packet using Pixie, so I've validated that the whole system works for you. Um, no additional steps except getting a packet account. If you don't have a packet account, use RACN, all caps, 100, and uh, you'll get a credit to start, not a $100 credit, but a credit uh, to start uh, your, first, your first couple boot experiences with packet, uh, and so you can get this stuff running. And if I go in and I want to uh, reboot the system, totally reasonable thing to do, uh, it's, you can actually see it's booting down. I see the ACI, power down, shutdown, all that stuff is going. And uh, it'll go through the same process over and over and over again. So in this video, you've had a chance to use Packet, uh, use their emergency console, uh, use the iPixie service that we have set up as a test endpoint for you, and just make sure that all this stuff is cool and kosher. Uh, if you're interested more, uh, Rackin's going to start building some uh, DRP endpoints so you can skip the, ins the install either. Uh, that's coming. Uh, so it's July, mid it's July 15th now. Uh, maybe, you'll, maybe by the time you're watching this video, that'll be a, a feature you can just go to Rackin.com uh, and, and check out. So once again, very simple video uh, letting you test and validate the, the, the packet process really quickly. Oh, and if you're interested in the full video set um, in our YouTube uh, under Digital Rebar Provision, there's a packet. It's about 40 minutes of instruction showing you how to set up, install, optimize uh, DRP on packet, or Digital Rebar Provision. Thank you very much. I hope the video was helpful.